All right, so this last example we're going to look at asks us to take a graph that's already given and see if we can come up with some sort of possible equation that would be similar to the graph that we're looking at. And I'm going to choose to do this in Desmos because it's easier for me to kind of manipulate a graph and play with it in Desmos than it is the calculator. But that doesn't mean that I don't use my graphing calculator. Um, and I couldn't, it doesn't mean I couldn't have done this in my graphing calculator. So I have this picture here and I'm going to pull up Desmos and I want to show you how I would kind of, uh, so when I'm investigating a graph, sometimes I, I just find it's easier to put it in Desmos, which is what I'm going to do. So let's pull up Desmos. Okay, so I've gone to uh, Desmos.com, which is a free graphing calculator online that I like to, um, to use sometimes. And I think that this function right here looks like a cubic function. The reason I think that is because it's going off in opposite directions. It looks like, you know, the lines over here are in opposite sides of the quadrants, if you will. Um, I also think that this function is reflected. So I think the parent function that I want to start with is a cubic function. And I'm going to adjust my window in Desmos so that it looks just like the window that's being displayed right here. And I can do that by clicking on this little wrench tool. And down here I can adjust my x and my y axes. So I'm going to change this to a negative 3 and a positive 3. It automatically, I'm going to leave the steps like they are. Well, maybe I'll change it. We'll change it to 1s. And then the y axis I'm going to change to negative 6 to positive 6. I don't think I need to change that to 1, but I will anyway. Okay, and here is a zoomed in version of what we're looking at over here. Um, so if I think that this is the cubic function, but it's reflected, I think that it would be reflected across the x axis, right? Because the parent function, look over here in Desmos, the parent function starts down here in the third quadrant or down here on the left, and I want it to be up here uh, on the top of the left. Okay, so that is an a reflection across the x-axis. And so when I reflect across the x-axis, I just simply put a negative in front. Okay, well that looks similar to what we have going on over here. And the next thing that I might have, however, is it doesn't look, you know, we're not crossing. My parent function here is crossing at the, at the origin. Okay, and this function over here is not. It crosses, it looks like, um, it crosses the y-axis at 2. So this is what we would call a vertical shift. And remember, vertical shifts are shifts that are added to the outside of the function. So if I were to just type in plus 2, that looks a whole lot like the function that we are looking at in my screen over here on the left. Now, what if, however, I didn't do that to begin with. What if I st said, and I'm going to type uh, my function in again. I'm going to call it uh, g of x this time. And I'm going to say that it is equal to a negative x raised to the third power. So that's a caret 3, if you were typing this with me, plus 2. Notice that that's the same graph, isn't it? Because in this case, we have reflected again and shifted up. So I have these two options uh, where I'm either flipping it uh, over the x-axis or I am flipping it over the y-axis. It kind of just depends on which way you look at it, but it net, the net effect is the same graph. And both of these would be the solution to possible equations for the function that is over here. Now. Again, you can adjust your window in your graphing calculator, and you just do that by, um, by clicking Window on your calculator, and you can adjust the window. 
But when I am just kind of investigating graphs like this, or maybe I just want to see what a graph is going to look at, I tend to use the one here in Desmos because I can type it on a keyboard, I can backspace, I can, uh, I can just really edit my functions quickly, and I can turn them off and on to see what they've done. So again, you can do it in your graphing calculator, you can do it in Desmos, but either way, I believe that this would be two possible functions for the picture that we were given.